Hello everyone, and welcome to a MathHacks video where I'll be intuitively explaining the transitive closure of a relation. Now, let's say our relation is this subway map with six cities. The lines that I have in black are routes that are easy to take directly. So for example, we can go directly from Fremont to Richmond, directly from Pittsburgh to Daly City, but not directly from Dublin to Pittsburgh. The transitive closure will include everything we have here, but also paths you can get eventually. So for example, if we want to get from Fremont to Millbrae, we can go Fremont to Richmond, Richmond to Daly City, and then Daly City to Millbrae. For that reason, since it's possible to, go, to start in Fremont and end up in Millbrae, we include a new arrow. We can also go from Fremont to Pittsburgh if we go Fremont to Richmond, Richmond to Pittsburgh. Now that's the only, those are the only three places we can go from Fremont. We can go to, to Millbrae through the path that I explained to Richmond directly, or to Pittsburgh, but we can never get to Dublin. Let's look at the next one. From Dublin, we, can, we have only one choice to go to Daly City, then only one more choice to go to Millbrae. So we include this additional arrow. Now from Pittsburgh, we can go to Daly City and Millbrae, so that's it. From Richmond, we go to Pittsburgh, and then to Daly City, and then to Millbrae. So that adds in a direct line from Richmond to Millbrae. That's it. From Daly City, we can only go to Millbrae, but then Millbrae doesn't go anywhere, so we don't add anything else. And from Millbrae, we can't go anywhere, so we don't need to add anything. What we have here, the collection of red and black arrows, will be the transitive closure. Now, that's the meaning of the transitive closure. In future videos, I'll get into how to find it for a given relation. Thanks a lot and have an integrate day.